Um, if we talk about charmers, we even started when we were in primary school. And do you remember during Moi's time, there was this milk, free milk. Yeah. And we used to have a group of ourselves in class, that today we are giving you this package, the number of packs you take home, tomorrow another one. It generated like, today this household is consuming milk. That is just a basic. Why uh, Patrick said we are all in chamas in a way, mm. but what translates to something is different. So I came, I came to 2014 when we joined um, Amalgamated Chama Limited. But before I was in a in a chama, small chama within a, an institution where I was working, and basically we were just doing household. Uh, we are meeting the needs of our household. We contribute and buy some household items. And that was known by the women. When you talk about chamas, it's about chama, yes. But women who are in the rural areas, or even in our own setup, we are just contributing to buy something. Those are short term. Until I came to Amalgamated Chama Limited, when I really saw chama is a big thing, and it's not a women issue. It is actually for men. So you even find the, the chamas we have, majority are men. Wow. So the chama concept is not a gender. It's not a gender what? issue. It is actually for men and women. Okay. And it depends on what you want to do. We, since 2014, I've been in Amalgamated Chama Limited, and we've really done so much. And this is because of the structures put in place. This is because of the governance, where it keeps you going. You know, you go to a chamber where there is no vision, you will tend to pull out. But for Amalgamated Chama Limited, I've seen uh, this is a future. This is a place where I get ideas. If I want to put money, I know my money is safe. Uh, the structures put in place, we meet. There is that communication to the shareholders. There is that governance issues, transparency. Talk of meetings. You have scheduled meetings in a year, and you communicate what is happening. So being in a chama for that long, it's because of what is happening. Uh, what are the structures in place? And having assured that the money that I've kept somewhere is making, I mean profit is multiplying, and not multiplying because it's just sitting in a bank, because we are investing in other avenues. Since we were doing those small things, and what small investment means, that, th that uh, investment that cannot take you um, to another level, mm -hmm. um, talking about a long-term investment mm -hmm. that you give yourself 10 years before you break even, yeah. um, and this we've done the real estate and private equity. Oh. So private equity is co-investing with other, investment companies. Okay. That private equity, a small chama cannot do. Mm -hmm. A single chama can, may not do. Mm -hmm. But when you come together, you do so much. We come to real estate. Um, we've bought a land. Mm -hmm. And this land is not a small land. We have 600 acre land somewhere. <laughs> 600. So a small chama <laughs> may not do that much. Yeah. So we ventured, we identified the areas that we can do, okay. and that is now private equity and real estate.